the Thayer valve. Something a little different, a very smooth, free-flowing design utilizing a taper design. Allows the air to quickly flow straight through the instrument or to be diverted into a F branch or E flat or whatever other branches you could have. Okay. It's a rotor design. You kind of see very smooth passage in this. Look, noticing that if I tilt it up, it also goes into that branch as well. Pipes would come off here that would be soldered on and allowed to go to the next branch. Okay, look from behind. Rotor is simply turned and adjusted into one where the other side is closed down. Supported by a screwed on ring, the actual rotor consists of a very thin walled cup which is very, very precise. If this gets a ding or a dent in it, this is where uh, your chore to get this perfectly smooth again is a challenge. Now, besides that fitting, we have our actual rotor. Our rotor in this case, okay, very thin wall that's hollow. We have a set of tubes. We have our bearing plate. Okay. Now, one thing you should notice about this is it uses a bearing insert. The bearing itself cannot be swedged like a French horn. And when this wears down, this insert here is replaced with a new one that fits tight on here. That is how this is repaired. Our crucial area here is this part of the rotor. It needs to be perfectly flat. And if the plating starts to bubble, this has to be filed and cleaned up and buffed smooth again. As you can tell by the back of this plate, the surface is very smooth. Okay, I try to look on the view. There is no imperfections. Two surfaces meet to each other and spin freely. Okay, there are no gaps. So the bearing surfaces are very, very important. Okay. We have a small little area here to allow some of the air to vent, and that allows that cushion to allow this valve to move. Simply installed back inside, we have a little pin, and that is matched to a slot that we have on the casing itself. Inserted back in, and our ring simply attaches and holds it together. That is a Thayer valve used on a lot of professional horns and is something that you should be aware of when will come in. They are an expensive attachment to a professional trombone and need to be treated with respect. Thank you.